it is important for me, really, because if you do not know the sole purpose of your business, if you do not know what it is that it's trying to achieve, be that shareholder value, be that um, you know increasing um, profits, be that sipping more product, or even um, you know saving money, etc., for whatever purposes, be it, if you're a charity, etc., then you have actually no idea what you're working towards, and that I think is is really important because it not only does it give you and your team a sense of purpose, but it also allows you to align your services, align your attitudes, and actually deliver product services uh, capabilities that are in complete alignment with the business. You're not doing security just for security's sake because that's one of the most dangerous types of security, I can tell you. That's the type of security that will actually inhibit the way a business does. So I'm, I've often been asked about, you know, as a CISO, what is it that you do? And my, my role is not to make the business more secure. You know, I've said it a number of times, I, you know, I keep saying it, it's about helping the business achieve its goals. You're there as a partner, and dare I say, as an, an enabler to the business. That sounds very glib, but there are plenty of examples where the services that you provide, the security services you provide, can have a direct impact on the business and on its bottom line. So to think that actually we as CISOs need to retain and develop this technology or technical skills is, is ridiculous. That is what the team is there to do. You are there to help direct them into the right direction. And that is the only way that we can stay focused as CISOs on the goals of the business by the judicious use of security. That level of focus will not happen if you're constantly trying to learn the old technology over the, sorry, the new technology over the old. You're not trying to, to learn the, the latest tools, the latest products, etc. This is what makes a good CISO. This is what makes a good CISO build a good team as well. And the way to inspire people is to do a whole lot of empowerment. You will definitely inspire people if you empower them. If you give them the ability to have control over their own destiny, <clears throat> to actually be able to influence the way they work, influence the way they learn, and influence the way that they can actually benefit the company as a whole. Empowerment is such a strong tool. If you can delegate in your organization, if you can actually empower and therefore inspire people in your organization, you will find that you are able to actually move far more strategically within the organization and not be constantly encumbered with the day-to-day. -day. Understand what you should not be doing to allow you to focus on the things that you should.